Hey guys and welcome to an item guide for the cycle of ball bearings. This item has a current rate of 5 and can stack up to 10 per stack and has a K marks value of 338. Now for where this item spawns. Starting off with Bright Sands. The main spawning locations for this item is over by the crash drill site as well as the east collection point. The deck site is a really great location as well as the base camp. Over on Crescent Falls, over at the Starport area of course is one of the best locations as well as a lakeside building and the green prospects. This is one of those items that actually spawn all over the maps, not just set in one locations. But those locations are the higher concentrations now for me personally over on bright sands the water facility the east collection point and the base camp is the best locations i've had and then over on crescent falls the starport landing area is the best location for me personally the item currently spawns in dumpsters and in industrial crates that are tier one and above and now on to crafting. Starting off with the auto loader, you're going to need 7,700 K marks, 5 aluminium scraps, 5 ball bearings, and 1 shock absorber. And then on to tasks. Starting off with Korolev Water Tool Part 2, you're going to need to get yourself 10 compound sheets and 5 ball bearings. And then with the ICA Audio Files Be Aware Part 2, you're going to need 8 copper wire and 5 ball bearings. Again with Korolev mining bots you're going to need two zero system CPUs as well as three ball bearings. And then with Korolev excavator improvements you're going to need two Kotec multi tools, three ball bearings and three hydraulic pistons. And then into the personal quarters. With the generator the K marks rate, the second upgrade, the fifth out of fifth upgrade you're going to need 7760 9 K marks, 15 ball bearings, and 8 zero system CPU, as well as 14 Osiris scripts. On to the supply crate, the fifth upgrade, the first out of two upgrades, you're going to need 13,566 K marks, 14 textiles, 12 ball bearings, and 11 ICA scripts. And then on to the workbench for the personal quarters upgrade time, the sixth upgrade, the first out of three, you're going to need 29,662 K marks, 15 ball bearings, five shard slices, and 26 ICA scripts. And of course, don't forget to check out the cyclefrontier.wiki. This is the official Wikipedia for the Cycle Frontier and is a awesome community resource. On the left hand side, just here underneath navigation, you got all the, of the standard information. So you got information about the creatures, the tasks, weapons, all that wonderful stuff. On the right hand side, you have companion sites where you got the interactive minimap, item tracker, weapon calculator that generator and they're also developing a app so in this case let's head over to the interactive minimap and let's type in the bearings click on the item and then click on the little search icon on the right hand side and if we zoom out just a little bit you can see there's a load of numbers that are now dot dotting up on the screen in this case if we head over to dig site it's got 121 spawns if we had to click on that and it zooms us in it shows you all of the 121 spawns around dig site so if we zoom in just a little bit more, you can see that they're a bit more pronounced. These little dots right here are the ground spawns that has a chance of spawning the ball bearings. They are a uncommon spawn with a 4%. And they've also shows you like the dumpsters. You've got the spawns right there and it's an uncommon with a 9.33% chance of spawning. Now, if you actually click on the actual item itself, the ball bearings, you can see it throws us over to the wonderful wiki page just here. And it shows you right here all the items you're actually going to be needing for the crafting as well as just general information about the item as well. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out the Twitch channel. I live stream every single day over on twitch.tv slash piranha at 7 a.m. GMT, which is around about 2 a.m. EST. Also, do not forget to check out our Discord as well as the website, thecyclefrontierhelpline.com, as we do have a huge community which is dedicated to helping you guys over on the Discord. As well, don't forget to check out the the official cycle wikipedia which is the cyclefrontier.wiki they do have loads of information as well as a mini map as well as item trackers as well as a huge amount of resources over on there so definitely go and check them out 
And a huge thank you to the Patreons supporting this channel over on patreon.com slash piranha tv. And especially a big thank you to Beansy, Freddy and Justin ASDF for your continued support. 